Alright, how are we doing? My name's Ashton, and uh, in my last video I talked about the standalone albums that I have, uh, of which I only have one album from that specific artist, and actually I missed out three of them. So I'm just going to do a, another little short part two video to my previous video. Um, the first of the three albums that I have, standalone, is uh, Decapitated Carnival is Forever. Now, I really like Decapitated. I think they're fantastic. And I actually uh, have three of their albums. Um, I have... Oh, what are they called? Oh, Blood Mantra. Or the album with Blood Mantra on it, anyway. That's a really good album. And Anti-Cult. But I bought those albums on iTunes. So I don't have a physical copy, unfortunately. But I do have the physical copy of Carnival Is Forever. And Carnival Is Forever has um, four of my favourite songs... Three, sorry, three of my favourite songs by Decapitated. It's got The Knife, Carnival Is Forever, and 404. Now, 404 is probably my favourite Decapitated song of all time. It's Krim. I, th I, think he's, I think that's how you pronounce it. The drummer at the time, Krim. His drum work in that song is absolutely phenomenal. He's, he's like... It's just great. He's, he's mental. It's absolutely... Really good. Check it out. The fourth song I was on about was Homo Sum. Uh, it's a very famous decapitated song. It's one that uh, a, a lot of people very much like. Uh, I just it's not it's not for me personally. Not that I'm not saying it's a bad song. It's just uh, it's not one of my favourites. But yes, uh, this album is great. Decapitated Carnival is forever. They were very. Uh, their first drummer VTech is like hailed as the best decapitated drummer. But personally, I believe Krim is the best decapitated drummer. VTech was awesome. And he was fast. He was mental fast. Uh, unfortunately, he died. So they had a hiatus for a bit. But um, it went, when they came back... I'm not sure if it was Krim that they had when they came back. Or if it was someone else. But either way, Krim is my favourite drummer from Decapitated. He's, he's really, really good. Their new drummer is awesome as well. Uh, they're, I think they're releasing a new album. Or they might, have only, they might have already released a new album. But anyway, yeah, check out Decapitated. If you like technical death metal or just death metal in general, check out Decapitated. They are fantastic. Polish monsters they are. Check them out. The second of the three albums is by one of my favourite bands, a band called Meshuggah with The Violent Sleep of Reason. Now, again, uh, I have bought many, many Meshuggah albums on iTunes. I bought uh, Destroyer Race, Improve, Chaosphere... Obzen, which is which is the first album I bought by Meshuggah. It's got Bleed on it. Fantastic album. And uh, Coloss, Nothing. And Contradictions Collapse as well. Very good albums, very good albums. But this is the only physical copy of one that I do have. This album is very, very good. However, I only listened to three, al three songs on this album, uh, which is the first three. Clockworks, Born in Dissonance and Monstro City. Uh, Meshuggah are great. They 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 are pioneers of the avant-garde polyrhythm mad guitar work, and I, I really really like Meshuggah. They're fantastic. Although they are an acquired taste, I do admit. Um, if you're not used to listening to like polyrhythms and stuff, when you first listen to Meshuggah, it very much throws you off. It's because the the drummers they're all playing in ridiculous time signatures. Thomas Hark, the drummer of Meshuggah, is a machine. I've seen them live twice, and oh, he just, he never misses a beat. Never misses a beat. He's an absolute machine. And they're getting on now. Like, Jens Kidman, the lead singer, he's like f late 50s now. And the rest of them, like, they're all going grey and stuff. Like that, but they're still just as good as they ever were. Fantastic album. That Check it out. And the last album that I have uh, is by Thy Art Is Murder, Human Target. Now, this album is awesome. This album is very, very good. Again, I forgot about this one because I also have their album Hate, which has Reign of Darkness on it, which I think is their biggest song. But yeah, this album is great. It's got Human Target, New Gods, Death Squad Anthem, Make America Hate Again is a brilliant track. Check that one out. Uh, Eternal Suffering, Welcome Oblivion, Atone this entire album. Atonement, Voyage Into Death, Eye for an Eye, and Chemical Christ. This entire album is really good, and I do recommend this album a lot. Thy Art is Murder, Human Target. Check it out. Give them some love. So yes, I do apologise for leaving those albums out, but now you've seen them.
that uh, is this is Standalone's part two. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, have a good morning, evening, day, night, wherever you may be on the face of the earth. Tara. <laughs>